Welcome back, Chad H.T. Show, News Talk KFYO. We go to the phones, and uh, live from Omaha, maybe at a restaurant, maybe not, I'm not sure, it's Ryan Hyatt. Ryan, what's going on today? I am at a restaurant, you ah, can be sure of that. It. We're hanging out at DJ's Dugout, getting ready for our own show, but why, why would I not want to be on your show as well? Absolutely, and uh, the, it, the, the game on Monday, it was... Uh, it wasn't easy for Texas Tech, but they 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 uh, they got through. Uh, they got through Arkansas, and today they they just have to face Florida State. Yeah, you just get to be the most hated team in college baseball tonight for a few hours as you try to end the forty year Hall of Fame career of uh, Florida State coach Mike Martin, who announced his retirement uh, prior to the season that this would be his final year, and uh, this is the elimination game. So it could very well be Texas Tech that sends him off into retirement later on tonight. Yeah, it's uh, it, it should be a good game. How do these two teams match up, Ryan? I, I think Texas Tech has a little advantage in pitching tonight with Bryce Bonin going. They've got a guy named uh, Grady Connor. He's, he's talented, but I think Tech's got just a little advantage there. Texas Tech has absolutely uh, worn the baseball out uh, since they've got up here. A lot of power, a lot of home runs, and Florida State has struggled to score. They beat Arkansas one nothing, got a run in the ninth on a sack fly, and got shut out on 100 pitches. Uh, the other night by Michigan. So uh, the team, the Florida State team, that looks so dominant and powerful in the regional and super regional offensively just has not been seen here in Omaha yet. Visiting with uh, Ryan Hyatt, you can uh, visit his uh, website, theraiderland.com, where they've been, uh, of course, keeping up with everything happening in Omaha. Uh, so what? Ha- if, let's say Texas Tech wins tonight and, and they move on, Ryan. Then what happens? Uh, if, if the schedule holds, and it should, uh, you would get tomorrow off. Now, that's provided you get this game in. We had rainouts yesterday, so at 11, they're going to start resume Louisville and Auburn in the top of the fifth with uh, Louisville up 4-1. to one. So we got to get that one done. Then after that, Vanderbilt and, uh, and Mississippi State will play an hour after that. And then finally, Texas Tech, sometime 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock tonight, we'll get this thing going. The good news is weather forecast looks good. So, do you think it'll? It'll. You think it'll start on time? Uh, I doubt it. I, I think it's probably going to be closer to six thirty or seven when Texas Tech uh, finally gets this game underway. There's okay. a chance that Vandy and Mississippi State could go really fast. There are two very good pitchers going. It was a one nothing game when those two teams got together last go around uh, in the SEC tournament. So it is possible that if both these teams play quick games, uh, we might get this thing going at six, but. I ain't counting on it. That okay. never happens around here. You know, it, it's not Texas Tech related, but you know, just if you look at those two teams who are picking it up today, how does you know for fo- folks who have been watching the entire College World Series, how does that affect the teams when you, you have to take you know hours and play the next day? You have to take hours off and then come in and you start off what in the top of the fifth? Yeah, you'll start off in the top of the fifth, and that's that's a really good example because, uh, you know, Louisville was getting some great pitching, and their pitcher won't be able to return today after shutting down yesterday. The arm's just not going to come back after throwing those four innings. I would be surprised, and I'd say that, and they'll start him right up. But what it also does is that they, they basically lose an off day. They'll play today, and let's say Louisville wins this, they'll have to come right back to, uh, you know, and, and lose an off day tomorrow or today, and play tomorrow back-to-back. So it compromises your bullpen pitching. You don't get max rest. And we saw that last year with Texas Tech and their side of the bracket because of some rain delays. Uh, it really compresses the schedule. And uh, right now, Tech's lucky. Uh, you know, they weren't going to play yesterday anyway. So Tech side of the bracket is clean. This side of the bracket has lost an off day. Uh, Michigan is obviously still hanging out there. They're waiting to see who they get to face next. Is that who Texas Tech, if they win today, one game at a time? Sure, but if they, if we're looking ahead, if Tech wins today, do they face Michigan next? Yeah, that would be Michigan Friday afternoon if Tech wins tonight, and it could very well be a rematch pitching-wise. Day one, when Micah Dallas and Carl Kaufman dueled each other, they would have uh, plenty of rest going into that, enough rest to uh, make that start, so uh, you could be seeing Tech Michigan uh, part. This would be part five now on the year that they would play each other for the fifth time. Yeah. So how does that work out? Like, how does Tech move on from all of this? All right. So, so what Tech has to do now, coming through the losers bracket, they must win tonight, obviously. Then they must win Friday. That would be the first bracket championship game for Michigan. If Tech beats Michigan Friday, we're doing this thing again Saturday against Michigan. And if Tech wins that one, 
you advance to the finals and we'll play whoever comes out of the uh, SEC group of death bracket. <laughs> Is that the official name? Yeah, yeah, it's on all the T-shirts. All right. Uh, so have you had anything besides nachos at uh, at DJ's? I've had some salads. I've had uh, no, you haven't. Salad. Lettuce have. on the nachos doesn't count as a salad. It's a taco salad. It says it in its name. Okay, it must be a salad. Uh, the California wrap is tremendous, and the uh, uh, pork tenderloin sandwich uh, that I had, I can't remember what day it was. Uh, very, very satisfying. Very filling. Do you have a hotel, or are you just staying there at DJ's? No, I'm just staying up upstairs here at DJ's. <laughs> okay. Really- Got a little shower and everything. Got a cot, you know. That's nice. I was doing side work this morning, getting the uh, napkins wrapped and ready to go. You gotta, you gotta help out and make yourself a hand. Yeah, that's uh, that's real nice. So it sounds like you're having a good time uh, there in Omaha, and uh, appreciate you checking in with us, letting us know what's going on uh, with Texas Tech and the College World Series. They can keep up with all of it at theraiderland.com, and they can also uh, get the extended version uh, coming up at 11 a.m. on Talk 1340. Yeah, we're getting geared up, ready to go, and uh, looking forward to a great show. All right. Ryan, have a good one. Thanks, man. See you soon. See you. That's Ryan Hyatt. Uh, the Raiderland.com is, uh, is his website where you can check out uh, all the College World Series coverage.